The EU Sustainable Energy Week on Monday was given an energetic start in Brussels with a lively debate on energy efficiency at the offices of Euractiv.com. The EU policy news publisher brought together stakeholders from the main EU institutions, NGOs and companies active in the energy field. This to discuss the Union's strategy for energy efficiency. Among those attending, Danish Conservative MEP Bank Benson, whose report on energy efficiency was adopted in the European Parliament last December. We have a lot of low-hanging fruits, and when we speak about energy efficiency, it's more, much more, more important now after we have seen what's going on in Japan and other places. Benson's report underlined the potential to save energy with, for example, more efficient buildings and has inspired the European Commission in March of this year to set more ambitious targets for energy efficiency. Critics argued that the European Commission's energy efficiency plan is by no means the final station. They hope that more effective measures will be agreed over the coming two years. I think the reason the energy efficiency plan is a relatively weak document, the reason the European Council have postponed any conclusions about binding targets, is we still don't really know how to do energy efficiency. The energy industry already offers various solutions, ranging from more efficient energy production to solutions at household levels, such as smart digital energy meters. We are the only country where over 30 million households uh, already enjoy uh, a smart meter in, uh, in their homes and households. 80% of European Union households uh, uh, are asked to have uh, an electronic meter by 2020 and that is in the third energy package. When you think about um, conversion of, of fuel or, or energy, 70% of that is wasted in the conversion process. So how how can you, you, you take advantage of that, minimize that at the source and be able to generate more electricity, more efficient electricity and help with that whole efficiency equation? It's very important it's that the national countries take action because we have made a lot of uh, legislation and a lot of it ain't implemented yet in the, in the national countries. The EU Sustainable Energy Week takes place annually during April. It involves dozens of events and meetings in and outside Brussels.